Hello everybody, Peter here. Today we're gonna be unboxing and installing the Match Spell gaming chair from IKEA. This video was too long after editing, so I decided to split it in two. This is part one of the video. The review will be available soon in the part two. Let's proceed with the unboxing. First thing that we're gonna find in the box is the backrest, followed by the seat. Then you're also gonna find uh, the base. Also in the box we have the headrest and the mounting mechanism that allows you to adjust the chair. Also we have two armrests, the spine of the chair that sustains everything, and in the end the piston and the wheels of the chair. Now we have everything unpacked, um, so this is the only tool that we're gonna need, this is provided with the chair, so it's just a hexagonal key. Here are all the screws, I'll keep them in the back for now so I don't lose any of them. And to recap, that's the back, we have here the seat itself, the locking mechanism, there is the headrest, the base, the two arms that can be adjusted, the spine of the chair, all the wheels, and the piston. Alright, so we need to follow the instructions or you can follow this video. I'm gonna do this live without any cuts so you can see with me how it is done. So let's start with the base. We have this part, you just turn it around and you have the six wheels that you have to put inside, so just push them in. They require a little bit of force. First one in. So that's step one. And uh, the wheels don't roll because uh, they have a locking mechanism. So now when I drag it, they don't move. You have to have some weight for them to move. Step two. Take the piston, put it in here, just drop it and do not forget to remove this cap because if you do not remove this cap the chair will not go up and down. For this step you will need the headrest, the backrest and the spine, so the central part of the chair and you also need two types of screws. So in the box you have three types of screws. There is this round headed one that is shorter, this flat headed one that is longer and this really tiny screw. What we need, we need two of those tiny screws and two of those rounded headed ones. I know this is quite simple and I'm doing quite a lot of steps but I want you to see every step. So first you slide this one in and then you put the rest on top of it. And uh, you have to put it with the holes on the back side, alright? And then you're gonna take these two screws, the smallest ones in uh, diameter I'd say and uh, screw everything in so there it is again and uh, now the most comfortable position to mount the swans but I do not see anything better than the floor. And then just screw them in. Now take the screws with the rounded head, the shorter screws of the thicker ones. And uh, there are two screws here, quite hard to reach. I'll just put one first, take the key and rotate it. Now we need the seat and the locking mechanism. And we also need four of the screws that we used last time, so they're round headed ones. Flip the seat, remember that this is the front, so remember now this is the front. 
this is the mechanism and uh, this part should go on the back this is the part where the back latches onto so make sure you got the correct orientation otherwise you'll have to disassemble it and put it again and there are four screws here I'll put them all and then I'll start spinning one little trick start like this at first and when everything gets harder switch it aside so you have more torque Now we need the seat and the back that we mounted before and uh, this is going to be quite a complicated position so if you have a, a table I might advise you to put the seat onto a table and then turn this upside down. If not then this is the second method in which you can do it. So take three screws. These are the screws uh, that are the longest ones with the flat head. Put these to a side Take this one and uh, quite hard to do it only one hand. So, uh, if you have somebody to help you, then this could be easier. And then just slide the back like this. And now put in the screws. Don't worry, they are lined up correctly because the holes are exactly the size of the screws. You can put the handles at a later stage as well, but uh, I think it's easier now than to like go under the seat. So you're gonna need the seat that we have just mounted, it's nearly finished, and two handles that we have there, and six screws like this, so three for each chair. They are the longest screws that we also used in the last step. So, get your key. Remove this paper. I need it anyway. So if it was a loud sound. And now this looks to be from this side. And I put it there. And this looks to be from this side. So I have three holes here. Just mount the screw and then the other holes will guide you. spinning. And now for the very last step we need the base that we did first and the seat. And what you want to do is to just insert the piston in. And now when you push it, it's quite hard to do with only one hand, the chair is done. The chair is now built, as you can see I'm sitting on it. Uh, that's enough for today, the light is slowly coming down so I do not have any natural light to film in the best conditions. But this is a good thing, I'm not going to review this chair as of today as some people would do. I'm going to use it for a couple of days and then tell you my honest uh, Begin on it. So uh, the first feel, it is quite smooth when we're all drifting. The wheels spin a little hard, but it's all right. You do not like move unwanted. So if you have like a little bit of a slope where you sit, this is not going to be issues. It's not going to run. The headrest, it's adjustable. 
So for me, something like this. Yeah, maybe I will think about it. The handles are also adjustable, so you can move them back and forth. I like them as much for it as possible. And here there is also a button, uh, yeah, under this, that you can use to pick it up or down. Again, I like it in the most upward position. And here we have the handle. So if I drag this outside, so like this, you can use a chair like this. But I'm feeling like I put a lot of pressure, so you cannot just use it without this and just rest because you need to put some force, so you have to lock it. Yep. And uh, let's take it up like this and take it down like this. Not a lot of movement, but I guess it's enough. These are the first impressions that I have about the chair. But uh, let's see if after a few days this still stick on. Maybe you'll hear me repeating, but hmm, it's a good chair. It's a good chair first. Be right back.